Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to Day 72 of 100 Days 100 Concepts and today in this video we are going to discuss a new concept or you can say a newly added concept in uh, physical metallurgy which is precipitate coarsening, right? So we all know what is precipitation hardening and how uh, precipitation hardening will improve the strength of an alloy or a solid solution, right? Now, uh, precipitate coarsening is usually nothing but growing of precipitates right it's a uh, very simple to understand coarsening of precipitate that means the size of precipitate is increasing when does this increase so this basically happens when you have a range of particle sizes available that means if you have differences in the precipitate sizes you see that some grow at an expense of another right so let me just explain the same so let's say i have a smaller precipitate and a bigger precipitate right so this is a smaller one and this is a larger one so basically this precipitate coarsening is taking place because of one important effect which we call curvature effect okay so what does curvature effect say curvature effect has uh, various effects on the thermodynamic uh, stabilities and all but here we are concentrated to the compositions or the concentrations of the solute. So curvature effect tells that the curvature is proportional to the concentration. That means higher curvature means higher composition of solute. And out of these two, okay, so we have considered these two sizes and in these two what is curvature curvature is nothing but if you take slope at every adjacent point if you see various you know large difference in slope you say that you have high curvature right and this is great or high in terms of smaller precipitates right so you can uh, easily see that by drawing tangents so smaller particles or precipitates here usually have higher curvature right and we are talking in terms of uh, you know relative terms that means we are comparing small and large right so larger usually have less curvature as compared to a smaller particle and according to this curvature effect what we saw is if the curvature is high then the solute concentration is high and here we have these two particles and we have a difference in curvature that means higher curvature will have high concentration so more solute concentration is basically seen at smaller particles right because of this particular curvature similarly a larger particle or larger precipitate has less curvature so this has less solute concentration again compared to the smaller particle okay so uh, if you want to show that in terms of concentration profile so let me take uh, these two particles over here and uh, how uh, you are drawing let's say c versus x x is nothing but the distance right so if you just consider uh, the centers okay and you want to study the temperature profile sorry uh, concentration profile right so we know that here we have because these are precipitates let's say we are taking aluminum copper so these are nothing but theta precipitates okay which are four percent copper right okay so now what happens here is that both these precipitates have the same four percent copper okay but the gradient here is actually in the matrix over here right what is present here we have alpha right alpha is a matrix in which we have theta precipitates forming okay so this is the concentration profile that you get to see okay so here let's say this is x1 and this is x2 and we know x1 is greater than x2 and why this concentration profile this concentration gradient is generated because of my curvature effect okay so you can uh, simply write this as dc by dx and we know right from fixed law you know j is proportional to dc by dx okay, of course there will be a negative sign 
So because of this concentration gradient, there will be diffusion taking place. And here the diffusion is such that my solute atoms are jumping from smaller atom and okay smaller atom to a larger atom. That means here this particle coarsening or precipitate coarsening is explaining you that there will be growth of larger precipitates because of what because uh, this is happening at the expense of smaller precipitates right that means the smaller precipitates here are shrinking okay so the smaller precipitates are shrinking here whereas the larger precipitates are coarsening right because they are growing their size because all the solute atoms are jumping if solute atoms are jumping out what will be present my theta will no more be there right it will just mix in the matrix and whatever theta is forming because of my four percent copper is going and joining my bigger precipitate right so even uh, in general if you see there is a dialogue or something they say that the rich get richer and the poor gets poorer the same thing is happening here that means the larger size particles is even growing and the smaller particles are becoming even smaller right so this is the concept of precipitation uh, precipitate coarsening okay and you can uh, easily see also uh, in terms of g versus x curve so if you want to draw g versus x curve of course at a fixed uh, temperature okay let me say this is my alpha curve and uh, we have different curves over here i'm telling that this is basically theta okay but smaller let's say the radius is r1 again here i am assuming it to be spherical precipitate okay and this is my large which is r2 okay so here we know that r1 is always less than r2 right so how uh, will be the concentrations so why the concentration difference is coming can also be explained using this so uh, we say that the equilibrium between two faces can be found out by drawing a common tangent so if you just draw a common tangent something like this and also something like this you can see that the concentration of alpha which is in equilibrium with r1 size particles which are smaller size particles have higher concentration whereas the alpha which is in equilibrium with larger size particles that is r2 is lesser right this is what we saw x1 is greater than x2 and because of this concentration gradient you get to see that the precipitation precipitate coarsening is taking place and this is called as Oswald's ripening okay this phenomena is called as Oswald ripening or uh, again it's nothing but precipitate coarsening right so i hope uh, you got an idea about this concept so if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate nuts of the aspirants and do check out the link in description for the live batch which is starting on december 28th right so we have changed usually it should be starting today that's 26 december but on uh, multiple requests we have extended and postponed from december 28th so please do check out the link in the description and enroll because you know this is going to be one of the most important batch helping you to solve and uh, you know analyze the last 10 to 15 years question papers so that's it for this video we'll meet you in the next video thank you